Hi friends, uh, this is another problem uh, of trigonometric identity. In this problem, uh, it is saying that write all the trigonometric ratios of angle A in terms of sec A. Okay, uh, suppose this is a right angle triangle and this is A, B, C, this is 90 degree. So they are saying that, uh, means the question is saying that, we have to write all the trigonometric ratios of angle A. It means sin A, cos A, tan A, cot A, cos A, K, these all into the uh, sec A form, right? So let's convert one by one, okay? First one is sin A, okay? Sin A into sec A, how to convert? So let me write here, sin A equals to, we know, uh, sin A only, let me write here. And let, let, let me divide both sides, divide and multiply by cos A cos a and again cos a okay and sin a upon cos a what is the value of sin a upon cos a yeah that's tan a and uh, let me write here you might not be confusing right uh, yeah now uh, that sin a upon cos a is the ratio of tan a right this we have already learned and we know that sec a times cos a equals to 1 so cos a is equals to 1 upon sec a so here cos a I can write like 1 upon sec a right so now again we know another identity uh, recently we have proved that sec square a minus 1 is tan square a so from this expression what we can uh, this this relationship what I can do this that tan square a uh, under root sec square a minus 1 under root will give me the tan a is equals to sec square a minus 1 right it's minus 1 it's 1 fine right so tan a is sec square minus a so tan a is sec square a minus 1 but under root and this is sec a so now i have converted the sin a in the form of sec a right like this we have to solve this other also uh, uh, let me do another one uh, that's cos a in terms of sec a we know it's really easy one upon sec a right because we have many times learned that cos a times sec a is equals to one so simply cos a is equals to 1 upon sec a we recently here also do right we, we have recently done here also and third one is tan a tan a equals to of course we have recently done here right this tan a equals to sec square a minus 1 so we know that uh, sec square minus a equals to minus uh, sec square a minus one equals to tan square a and tan is I'm just root, uh, making root over both in both of this and tan square tan a equals to sec square a minus one right so I'm directly writing here that is sec square a minus one right so again let me write another one that is the fourth one cosec a right so cosec a equals to one upon sin a we know that because uh, sin a times cos a k is equals to 1 therefore cos a k a equals to 1 upon sin a right and we know the sin a is equals to sec a square a minus 1 upon sec a so I am just writing here 1 whole upon right this sec a square a minus 1 under root, uh, under root right upon a sec square a minus 1 this is under root sec a sec a so this sec a will go upside now uh, it is sec a upon sec a square a minus 1 so now again I converted this cosec a into the sec a form right and the fourth and the fifth one right the fifth one let me do with another color that is cot a right cot a that is cot a uh, we know it, it is the uh, reciprocal of the tan a so let me write this is tan a right and the value of tan a is you know sec square a minus 1 so I can easily write 
sec square a minus 1 right and sec a is sec a that we don't have to write sec a is itself sec a like this this question is saying so now this is the way how to convert all the trigonometric ratios into one form to another form right everywhere we have to see the relationships what is the relationships between uh, between these uh, two uh, trigonometric uh, ratios right just you have to learn all the formula you know all the formulae and the uh, interrelationships of the ratios then you can easily do this right keep watching on the videos automatically after watching lots of videos you will get the tricks and you will be solving um, difficult difficult problem in simple way okay bye